Uh, good morning, folks. Um, it's 5.44 a.m. on the 10th day, 7th month, 2023. And I'm over here looking at some chemtrails here uh, off the coast of St. Helens, Tasmania. Here they've been laid over here to just show it up. I even chose to leave them in and feed here. Because I hear that uh, the Auckland radar has been up and you've been having some storms that I'm not surprised about. So I decided to come on a little early here and, and give you guys a forecast. Uh, it doesn't look like your rain Auckland's going to be ending anytime soon. And some of the bands are going to get, get quite heavy. They're quite wide as they're going to come over. They're all stretched. See, like that there. Uh, you've obviously got some demons going on. Evidence of it that I picked up when I go to your weather radar. As you can see, it, it got some stuff showing, yeah, but it's that uh, there's a lot of blanks and gaps in the coverage, you know, where you go no data, which uh, is hiding something uh, to me. But I can see uh, that line point and that line point and that line point and uh, straight towards the radar station. Anyhow, it's nucleating the storms along the line and a big fryer's out up here at a uh, your Friar Island and Burnt Pine. You could just see the tickles of the nucleations. They, they didn't manage to cut it all the way out. And so that radar is actually beaming uh, down in towards you guys uh, to help with the flows. It kind of pins passages. And if this thing would have gone wide top, it can't. It runs into a field of perturbation. And this signal will be going out farther and more high in the at higher up in the atmosphere. As its a uh, field of influence is off, just goes out. Okay, but this is the influence of return of the radar. Look like a keyhole on it. Yeah, right down there. Yeah, that's Burt Pine Island frying. Zzzt. It is well blasting the area. Yeah, so let's just have a look at what's going to happen here today for New Zealand. And I'll pop over and give you an eyes. If you're expecting a long animated show for me, you won't get it this early in the morning. Not out of respect to the neighbors. It's not even 6 a.m. yet. Here's a beam right there. See it coming over from top off. It also is going to create a corridor of heated outflow that's going to make this want to pin north right into you guys all through here. Not good, not good at all as I go over these images. And that was on the 12 hour feed. On the one hour, uh, Again, you still see that nucleation pointing at it, so that beam is still going on. But the image isn't changing. See? So they, they held the same image for an hour, and then it was time to change. Uh, they decided no data for you all. But I, there's many ways to see the beams. But I'm more concerned about where's the where's the storms going to be for you guys today. And so I've got a couple different uh, screens going on. I haven't fully loaded a set view yet, but I'll do it while I talk to you guys. And good morning, Carrie Baker, and good morning, Lisa Forge, and anybody else who's having to. I see your pictures up there, and that was just uh, something falling on the floor. So I'm going to roll uh, this here, and then I'm going to go on to the set view, and we'll have a look at the dynamics. Uh, what's causing this storm? What's fueling it? And why is this suddenly rotating when the rest of it wasn't? Now, what, what has been deployed uh, that was colder to suddenly start a rotation? Or is it the shape of the land itself? But you'll get a lot of vortices and stuff as you go into this uh, sphincter. This sphincter. It has this vent, natural venturi feature. There's Auckland prior for getting some cells coming through. But most of what yours is is right around here. And she's coming in. And the beams seem to be well guiding it. Because that came out to Tapau here. Right, it's come out this way. And that back and into this could be very well what caused the spin. And I can't quite see what Auckland's doing because they shut their radar off. So we'll have to go to cloud images themselves. But this might be flashing. And this is me looking at the chem bombs along this coast. I seen the pictures you guys posted this morning. Along the chem bomb coast of the far north of Australia. So let's see if we can get you on screen in a way that you guys can see. It's going to require a little shuffling here. Right. You can see the field of bombs as it's coming into focus. But let me let me sit back a minute and give you guys a little, uh, little visual aid here. Right. Let's say uh, you get the center of New Zealand. There. You shoot a beam out. Right. 
This is coming at it. Well, it runs into it. What happens? It backs up, but its forward motion causes it to, to roll on itself. Now, I have a beam from up here. Everything hitting that then funnels in. It's a, that one there is taking a flow of heat from the north with, with warm tropical air at a certain layer. It's not very cloudy. It's just there. It's way up here. And I'm, as it, the flashing on the screen stops, I'll, I'll show you. It does take a while for this to load. I just wanted to get this, uh, this on record, your, your, your weather for today. It's just coming in clearly. I, the chem bombs are so evident. It's, it's child's play to point it out, actually. It really, really is. I'm feeling uh, my foot saying at the moment while I get my eye only out. It's in my other pocket. I know when I don't have this on me. I can talk. Yay, broken foot. Setting number one. Any of you got one of these? Um, setting number one. For a... Uh, well, it'll be backwards looking on here. Setting number one for broken bone, fractured bones. Use it for a week on that. Get it as close to the area where the break is as possible. I've been sleeping with it at the end of the bed. And after a week, you put on setting number three and roll with it. And it uh, has to promote a good good bone growth. There's osteoplasts or something. It's a technical name. I'm not a doctor, but the professor is. So <laughs> you can tell me. Yeah, I'm going to go see him this morning. I'm looking forward to that, actually. And if you're interested in one, I have one. Uh, I only in Australia, and I have, I have ten here that I can send out. And if you buy two, I'll, I'll cut you 50 Australian or for 50 New Zealand. Just like that. Just like that. Same commission to me either way. Great, because I, I just, from one, I put two in a box. Just for you, you guys would cut that for you. So right, it's it's focused in now. So uh, oh, let me uh, try to turn the screen around at an odd angle. Is that is difficult? There we go. Now we're back on the screen. It's not flashing anymore. All right here's what's coming in, and here's what's here now. This is the last frame I have of your very existence, taken from my. Uh, let's see, five twenty, and it's a, uh, it's five fifty two here now. So that is at 32 minutes ago, you had this, this, this swirling bomb system going over the top of here. Right over the top of here. I might get zoom a little bit more. The best I can do. Don't get on no pieces of equipment. You just live with it. Bomb, bomb, bomb. There's triple shot there. Let's see if we can get the controls now. Back in chain. Four hours. Bomb, 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 bomb. With a square there. Shape charge there, there, and there. Bring that down. See the big guy? See the squares and the X's in the center of it right here? That's a bomb. Just came right over the top of you. And all the crap that's going to screw Auckland today is all out here. All of it. Every one of these bombs that's streamering in is going to nucleate. And as it runs into this line of EMF, it's going to come from here. And it's running straight through the line, straight through here. You can even see a dividing line caused by the, the plasma haze. And they bombed it. Just to make sure there was plenty of stuff to condensate. Plenty of chemicals for the uh, waveform uh, to propagate it or move along. So just watch that area. Right? You see the flower of death. This is fireworks deployment. This is the artillery method. That's actually on the low deck. That's low deck. That's high deck. See, these are different levels of the atmosphere being perturbed uh, with chemical catalysts and precursors for stuff. I could do one little bit of other adjustment. We get a little bit more on the screen. Morons. Do you? Morons. How did, all, how did your Met service miss this rain forecast? They've been on it for days. Bomb, 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 bombed again. Bomb, 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 chem bombed again. Chem bombed air. Smells like a dairy air. It does. It smells assy. Um, what are the uh, pH readings of your rain? Please continue with using your litmus paper. I challenge the uh, all your news readers uh, because they don't report the news. They just read it, whatever's told to them. 
uh, to get a piece of litmus paper and check the pH content of the rain and accurately report this. You could do it live, you know. That's real science. That's right. Is it acidic? Is it alkaline? Is it beautiful? Well, let's find out together. The answer is always together. All together now, can bam suck all together now, can bam suck streamers of death suck all together now, streamers of death suck all together now, saying no to the Paris Agreement, saying no, it's disagreeable, it's disagreeing with me. It disagrees with all the animals out here, and the acid in the rain is unacceptable from the gardens. How you get tomatoes doing after one of these rains? If you had a beautiful, glorious winter garden, how do the leaves look? You getting a coating on them? Ooh, that's a big batch coming in here. I'm looking at this particular batch. It's got a shape to it that squeezes water down towards its end. Where it's open. Like a pastry bag. The opposite direction when you hold it wrong. Yeah. But if you squeeze it that way, the pressure would increase. And you could put an EMF move on that. And as this runs into that wall of stuff, it's going to nucleate all that. Looks like you get a beam shooting down from here. Actually, maybe this is why Auckland, uh, they've intersected beams out here somewhere. I don't usually see quakes out here, though. That would be odd. I haven't loaded Mimic yet, so that'll be another moment I have to turn the screen. See the bombs right here and here and here? This is all what's disturbing your storm. A shockwave of all that collides small particles of uh, water droplets together. So they become bigger and the possibility of them falling. You know, overcoming the updrafts just becomes greater. Bomb, 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 there, streamer, streamer, chemtrail, chemtrail, chemtrails. And look at this very obvious chemtrail here. I love the coast of this Richmond and Austin. And that's the kiwi over here. Yeah, I'll always see the kiwi bird now when I look at that. You guys do too, don't you? If you don't, get your imaginary gear back. Sometimes the imaginary friend you had in the closet was the only one on your side. <laughs> Look at these vibes going off over here. Boom, 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 Spare no chem man. They're breathing over here. Boom, 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 boom. And plume their ashes so they're coughing out their ear. And then when they're done, tax them and bend them over. Without a bone, you'll show them who is a rover. Coming bomb man. Killing our dreams. Boom, 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 boom. Sending a plume. Look at the directions of flow. Going this way, going that. Like a this and a that and a this. And like devil horns. It's coming at you. Enter the dragon. <sighs> Camp bombs. Camp bombs suck. And now let's, let's load, load what they kind of say is going to go on today. You know, if you want to believe weather forecasts and it come from the mainstream that even these stats lie about, we'll just give you uh, what they say is going to happen uh, today. Because I'm going to back at you on the screen here. Na -na 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 and then Australia, I'll give you guys a little bit of attention. Mm, no questions. See, even when I can see comments, there's no comments. Bing, 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 bing. Swell in your streams. Boom, boom. Here you go, Hawks. Here comes the whip around mouth. The part of This should have just joined it really high and tight. There's got to be a beam holding that earth out here. There's no other way. Who would be the most likely suspect? Would be this little island under my middle finger. A little speck of dust right there. It's, it's a hell of a weather station on it. Because I see its actions all the time. Right, it looks like some snow's coming into the Fjordlands late Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Hey, morning's over there, so watch your travels. The wind's going to be picking up, driving, surf, bashing, smashing, and it looks like a bit of rain goes on to the Kiwi. Yep, 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 the river's going to run through it. No, 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 right on the very tip. It must be catching a little bit of a flaw. There will be some frostiness up there. And I know we got the ka 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 here, uh, because I'll never forget that name, because it got ka ka in it. Right, so it's going to be shit, a uh, shit weather coming your way, and the streams are going to be running really nice, and uh, maybe the waterfalls will be falling water. Who knows? And we'll zoom back out. Uh, some heavy falls there north of uh, New Plymouth there scheduled for uh, in the weather plans uh, for Wednesday the 12th. I'm trying to get you on screen. This ain't easy to do. i got to look at a phone that's down there in my lap. 
And then look at the screen that I'm controlling in front of me. And try to see if you guys get kind of... Isn't this fun? I'm just going to let this roll a bit here. Turn off some of the particle animation. That's important to me. So I can see when the flows change. See, there's not much flow through Cook Strait. They're bringing the flow over the land itself. So you're going to get some isolated big windies that come in there on a late night. And, well, that's my late night. It'll be early at Thursday morning, your time. This is like 3 a.m. on Thursday the 13th, my time. Thursday the 13th. Da -da -da. The relentlessness, the battering of the western coastlines continues and continues as, as the burger out there, high pressure continues to cycle all the stuff from down here up and in as the big batch now comes through. Now this was one I'm watching. I'm watching this one very closely. How much of it's going to make it across is going to determine your, your totals because I, I see some, I've been watching for this day here on, a, on the 19th of a few days. Well, was it sometime last week I started doing your countdown on how many days past what Windy shows it's going to be looking at pressures. Fiji, looks like you're having a moment there on the weekend, Saturday the 15th. Watch your back. Watch your fishermen. Don't plan to be out there uh, that day. Because that's going to be a, that's a bad day, actually. Let me get a quick totals for it. Yeah, you're getting a tendril. You're getting smacked. Uh, so Fiji, we'll give you a heads up now uh, to get prepared. Hey, Fiji, love. Right, let's go back to where I was. Right, I don't want to distract this. It looks like you have a big action coming through, Fiji. Uh, coming on uh, Saturday. These are some very, very heavy falls. And you see them whites like that. You're five and six centimeters every three hours. Uh, this is devastating in totals. If that thing even parked over your house uh, for 15 minutes, uh, you would have a lot of water coming down your drive. Because that's a three-hour total, 12 centimeters. Right, divide that out. That'd be three centimeters in 15 minutes. Everywhere around you as these come over. And look how many bands of them there are. Smaller, smaller, bigger. So the big batch is, is the last. So we'll be watching for you guys coming up. Right, let's go back down. Uh, so watch yourselves, Fiji. It is Saturday. Uh, you be prepared now. That is all. Thanks, you're going to need the big cleats when you're going on the rugby team goes on the road. Oh. Yeah, the All Blacks should ask me to be their weather, man. <laughs> I would have told them what shoes to wear. I keep moving the screen around. I'm not happy with my phone. You'll have to excuse me a minute while I do some jazz. I get one of those things that just holds it. Hangs it at my screen. You know, the meter strips all my data off <laughs> as quick as possible. Right, coming in on Wednesday. Which day are you getting in? Fuck yeah. I was worried about a spinner forming off your coast. I said so. Fuck. All the dynamics were there. The bubble up was too wide. Okay. Yeah, heads up. Now to read this. The high pressure on the bottom. It can't go south. She has to trek right towards you guys. All the steering winds say so. If she comes south of this high burnt pine island, I do believe New Zealand, you got a problem coming. All the pressure say so. My God. It's got all the dynamics. Like if it was spinning in the other directions with all these temperatures that I'm seeing here, that I've already seen, it's like a late season hurricane in the United States. It's the exact setup. Flip the opposite way. You guys got a big problem coming. Watch this space. Hey, should I call you a... What's the wind strings out here? Fuck. Some of these wind fields are getting near a tropical cyclone string. It's easier for me in miles per hour. You think I'd know all this by now? You try flipping between all the differences. That's a very, very strong gale. And if this pressure drops down to, to around uh, 970, after it passes this island here, Lord Howe's going to be beaming it. It has to. Lord Howe will hand off the burnt pine. Burnt pine is going to do the manipulations. The beams are going to decide it all. If the pressure stay like this, and she should uh, she should curveball straight, in, straight into here. Right in there. 
if the pressures stay like this. A very serious situation developing in New Zealand um, over the next two weeks. Fuck, this is bad. And it usually takes two days on a crescent. You just count that in your head. I've seen them go faster. I've seen them come across in a day. Well, it takes a hell of a wind up here to do that. And so we'll be watching this very, very, very closely. I'm going to mark that. <sighs> oh, we, we document these things. Yeah, so you're, you're, we're going to watch that very closely. Uh, okay, Australia, your turn. And I get to corporatize myself this time. I forgot to take the bag out of my cup. It's going to make it exceedingly strong. Right, is it rolling? Fantastic. Are you not on the screen? <laughs> okay, let's zoom back a little more. There you go. Let's let this roll. I'm going to turn off some of the pressure so uh, it just it makes it easier to read. And I love to see forecasts across the country where you're not all flooding out. And New Zealand, uh, you're, get, you're not as lucky uh, this, these next two weeks as you look like you're in the sights for a major major gale uh, event that could very well go tropical cyclone it's close so they get the right pressures on that thing and flows from the antarctica which is possible and that will go tc1 tropical cyclone one easily so i'm watching it very closely you damn sure getting a high gale gale is coming to town see just the funk off hey guys I'm oh, sorry. Let me go back to that. Father mucker. Right back to this. Roll it along. I'm trying to proceed it faster, 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 faster. Nothing going on here. Nothing going on here. A little bit of action down in the Perth corner over there coming in on Wednesday is to set up for another one. Doing the pull up. Roll it right in there like a Swiss wall to bring all that crap with you. That's right. And then no chem bomb. They're going to have a big spray day down around here. Uh, those days, you know, there'll be lots of chem deployments, yeah, lots of corphine going on. Looks like we got a bit of a spinner out there in the Indian Ocean, just spit a huge chunk, boom, 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 up into the tropic zone. It's never good. And that's going to meet what come out of the India with the mountains. I'm just watching something that's coming your way. You can't see that I can. Uh, long inundated period for up here. Right, because that's really all you guys get. You guys got a beautiful week scheduled for you. You should enjoy it before these storms come through New South Wales, Vic, and all that. And then you're going to get a bit of a batch in the tropics. Because as they hold that down, they're going to have to pin something up. And so I'll be looking for the EMF move that day. Boy, they're going to have to blast that hard. Straight across. I'm going to turn to me now, and I'm going to load Memac TBW. Uh, somebody says his head is straight for me. I have told you, it's a wide storm. And it's going to be very wide wind field on this storm, right? So this is this is a damager. You got a lot of slides that are going to occur as the trees rock back and forth, disturbing the soil. Very very concerned, mostly about slides. Yeah, that's going to be packing a wallop. Uh, to see totals in the 25 and centimeters is not going to surprise me with this storm, and it's very wide. It's not going to come all at once. And so we're going to watch this very closely. Let's see if we can uh, get the Met Service to be honest and tall, tall uh, in advance what's going on. Because it's it's not fair to you guys. I'm trying to get Mimic to load here. And the best way to do that is to push the button. I need to see... Uh... Oh my God! <gasps> Jesus Christ, there's a big blast. Fuck it. Now, that's a quake maker, right? Through Sumatra and all that. Okay, I'm going to change domains here. You guys get to get a, you'll get in an honest spot. Ooh, here's a big, big, big fucking blast. So time span that back 72 hours. Right, this is big, 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 big blast. This, let's load them up. So let's find the screens again. Bam! Look at that blast. Look at this shit. Who's the center of it? The S wave, watch. I gotta get this to stop. Stop. That is a big blast. Um, I need to check space weather instantly. 
right? Everything running this way backs into that. Everything running into this backs into that with force going that direction. Forcefully going that direction. Got a laser a pop centered right here. Circle, circle, circle. If you could see this. Right here. The center of the pop is actually here. So a device is here. Fired that direction and that direction. It's the only way they could have gone it to go both directions at once to split the polar barriers to put it on the equator, the device. Alaska has fired back. You see a fire right there from, from HARP itself. It's definitely, I got a HARP signature for sure. 100% positive HARP signature right here. Going back. Still harp. If harp did it, they had to have they had to have uh, hit a hell of an electrolink. So again, I'm gonna have to flip the camera around. Uh, you get to look at me and, and my Wakan shirt, totally available in Australia. Very comfortable cotton. Yeah, 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 yeah. Follow the washing directions. <laughs> what? What? What, 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 what? So I have to get space weather dashboard up now. This is it's becoming extremely important. Add to the electrolink coming from the sun with perturbation from the ground. Yes, you have a CME, but would it have done that if you hadn't added to it? Why is it centered over your device? There, this is where this is where I'll own them on it. Yeah, like the guy with the tiger. It can fire in both directions, and I have heard nothing but crickets from him ever since. You're damn right it can. It can fire sideways. You know, learn how about modulating radio frequencies there, Jex, where you go fucking talking shit to Robert. All right, where is my freaking solar observatory? Here we go. We'll, we'll have a good sun image for you. Let's see what we've had. And we want x-ray image. Yeah, let's do a quick x-ray. Quick x-ray image. Data links. Let's watch the sun. You want to see the sun? 48-hour video. Here she comes. Did we have a kick up today? All right, let's look at this sun. Here comes the sun. Doobie, doo doo, doobies. It's not very uh, straight here. But it's the best I can do. I'm given the, given the situation. There we go. Maybe that's better. We're, oh, gosh, yes. Look at the activity here. It is up in the limb here. Whammo. Yeah, we had a fire. Absolutely had a CME. Was well, very active for solar minimum. Wham. Oh, we had a jump in the image. That means they took some data out. Let's look at the number. I right, look and see if this streams evenly. Is there any gaps? See that flash right there? That was CME. So now I got to go to the space weather dashboard. Space weather dashboard. Let's just see what they, they have to have ticked to yellow. Yeah, it's a minor, though. It's only a minor. It's a fairly recent occurrence. So, if it's a recent occurrence, and the timestamp on this is not recent, then uh, this is from the 9th. This is yesterday. He said, therefore, it couldn't have been that. So, okay, I will, I will uh, disallow uh, the sun as being the excuse, because the timestamp is wrong. Four, five, five jumps till the beam was at. So every three hours. So that's 15 hours the microwave was at. A solar blast don't last that goddamn long. The wind would have gone past. And so if they use CME as an excuse for this big ass beam, and that's going to be a quake maker. Absolute quake maker. All right, so let's roll the, uh, yeah, that beautiful beam for the chair. You see what New Zealand's got. That's why I turned this on. Let's look at New Zealand. We got a beam shooting down here, large. And a kick off. God, that's a big blast. It's a major manipulation. It's actually going to stall most of the moisture from coming in this direction from off the Indian Ocean. Just a little bit of flow can come underneath. Totally blocked from here nearly. Okay, now. It's just, this is the setup for that cyclone many days from now. This is 
This is starting to set it up. There's the scoop. There's your ride. You know, many hours happen, and these storms didn't come back out the other side. Got another beam shooting down through here, but it could be just reverb. It's a big ass blast. I've been documenting these for many years. And yeah, it's going to get the mantle rocking, and that's the last image, and the beam is on. And over in the United States, she shot over here. It's almost like a satellite swath. A sine wave. There's something passed over. Antarctica. Look at Antarctica. It's lit up like a candle down here. Off. On. Bzzz. Boy, are we, they testing their toys. There's more than one toy out here being played with, folks. More than one toy. It's a hell of a Berkeley strand they generated. In South America quakes today. I ain't gonna be fucking surprised. Especially along this coastline. Right about through here and here. Maybe a little further south. Zzz, getting fried, getting fried. Got a beam shooting down here. I'm gonna change domains here. Let's go to Australia, Fiji, V. Let's go to the last 24 hours. Uh, see what your uh, weather is going to be. Yeah, I see the bees shooting everywhere all across the fucking planet. Got a big blast come through there. I want the last frame. That's really all I care about. Right. Storm hits that light. She's, there's hardly anywhere for it to go. It's gap to come over is up here to feed it there. Have a beam come through here. That's tiger. Great. That's not tiger. Nope. That's uh that's Blenheim. Tiger's over here doing that one. Tiger, it takes coordination to, to manipulate water. Meanwhile, all of Australia is experiencing extremely wicked moments. Your quake risk runs about here. It's one, two, three, four pulses centered over Xmas. This one here is a pulse. As I zoom in, I can read them, the Legos, then. It's a different device altogether in an entirely different uh, layer of the atmosphere. A uh, nucleating condensates and scattering them. Fucking hell, man. That's a big beaming event. You're going to get a big quake. It's going to cause a big quake on the planet today. Mid-Atlantic something. It's hard to tell because it's going all the way to the States. Yep. The big beaming head. has a cool looking face. Ooh, alien. Bzz. Getting fried, getting fried. Presser style. So let's go back to the chem babes. I just needed to see that. I can confirm they've had some CME, but I can confirm it was a minor and it wasn't occurring during the time of the beaminations. Oh, boy. I don't like seeing stuff like that. So let's see what we got going over the country. Got a split in the flow here. They even backfilled it with a chem. Pew, right at the last second you look. Hi. Whammo. Let's just go back over there. Whammo. This chem trail brought to you by Whammo. Bomb, bomb, bomb. And there, bomb, and there, bomb, and there, bomb, and there. Yeah, we got a little bit of a cold bomb there because it just suddenly changed rotation, right? Or the flows bumped into each other, turning like a bowling ball in one of those ramp conveyors. You start seeing them spinning when they bump into it. Yeah. Think about it. Mm hmm That fluid dynamics, motion dynamics, physical dynamics. Okay. Now it can come loud. It really came loud then. And fry a bit over here, huh? You see the fryer is on. Bzzz, fry, 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 fry in over Hobart. Fry, 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 fry it over the sea. Fry in here, fry in there, fry in every fucking where. Fry and fry and fry in time for thee. We got some chem bomb floating in the air over the sky. I've got a chemtrail over here. Look up and see it with your eyes. I got chem bombs over here and I got frying over there. I got people dying over here and over there and people don't care. I've got a forest under here that's being fried. 
When a tree falls in a forest, when you're there, it makes a noise when it dies. It does. Whether you think it's real or not, they could kill you anyhow. Care bombs over the entrance. Increasing the entrance's moisture levels. Look, it's a not-so-immaculate ejaculate in this guy. Poised over the entrance. They're chem-bombing your entrance. They're chem-bombing your ass. They're chem-bombing you day and night. They're chem-bombing you in class. Look at the trails out here in the ocean. Hey, should we try to catch it with the pasta? Hey, the unexpected expected me to have to block it in advance. Will they uh, do the deed? Dirty deed spraying you with dissing of ease. This in your ease and they're spraying these ow. Doom, boo, boo. Oh my god, would you look at the gelt? Whammo! Chemtrail, 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 chemtrail skies. Fuel in a storm, fuel in demise. Isn't that disgusting? If your car was doing that when you was going down a road with a color like that coming out the exhaust, would you get a ticket? When it's time for people to get a ticket, and Dancer told the system to stick it, because this is disgusting. So let's go see what more we can get. Oh, huge-ass chemtrail will go right across the middle of the country. Countries are ruled by cunts. Kingdoms are ruled by kings. And, well, would you look at the guilt out here in the Bay of Plenty of Chemtrails. They're starting to put the lines down now. They're not seeing of disguise. I'm going to have to be quick. Zooming in, zooming out. Chemtrails in your mother's mouth. Look at this over here. Oh, my God. Bang! They got the fangs, man. Snakes in the planes. The snakes on the planes. Whoo! Biden leaving stains. Snakes on planes. Hunter Biden guilty as fuck. Cocaine in the White House, turning the White House whiter. And an ex-president couldn't admit he lost when he charged with trying to do a coup using the military to bypass constitutional law. The world has gone loopy. Poor losers are out there throwing their tennis rackets down like a freaking bunch of mackerels. Like that's the way you're supposed to act in life without class. What a shame. Yeah, get triggered. I'm going to tell you this. Your politicians... Main ones are selected, not elected. That is all. Look at all the bombs it took to make this little thing here. Boom, 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 boom. Fireworks, man, it's fireworks. Boom, 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 plum, 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 plum. Fosco from Woman in White. It was devious, dude, with a syringe. He was, you gotta see it. Boom, 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 plum, 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 and you. Boom! Boom, boom. have no appetite to show this. This shit stage skies all over the top of these forests, all over this beautiful bay, making the skies of Kaka look like Kaka. And it took it, took it, took it, took it, Kaka. Can't help myself. So how we do it over here? They're fucking tawny over here. You know, they got a town called fucking tawny, and this is how they spell it. So you can walk around with a church that says W <laughs> H A K. And, it mean, and then a word, letter U, and have a shirt that says, hey, fuck you. It was how you pronounced it, and you wouldn't get in as much trouble as, as having one that says, like, fuck you, you fucking fuck. And I got in trouble wearing a scunthorpe, and they made me take it and turn it inside out. Yeah, no shit. The police after says that, 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 that language is unacceptable. Oh, my gosh. Look at this square here. Bomb, 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 bomb. Bom 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 kem bom 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 kem bom 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 kem bom 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 from Tarangi to to Omokaroa Beach to Son of a Beach to 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 oh my God we got another one here eh Caddy to Caddy hey there you go you couldn't just say it was one cat enough Caddy 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 yeah yeah that's it. Catty, 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 pussy, 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 catty, 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 yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, left turn, Clyde. 
You know, we ain't allowed to spray Englewood if somebody's house is we're gonna go behind there and you know, take a right turn, join that chemtrail line there. It looks like a plan. It looks planned. That took engineering. Geoengineering, perhaps? Absolutely. Look at this chem crap here. Well, let's, then we've seen we've seen the shit show over you guys. How about, how about you, Christers? They didn't leave you out of the toxification, microwaving situation of total inundation of crap. Over the top of your head, Ashburn. Ass, Ashburn over here. He's got assy skies. Hey, hey, Rakakia over here. Oh, my gosh. How do you do that one? Rakakia. We'll just do Michael Jackson noises sometimes. Over there, Rocky. Hey. They're doing meth over here at Meth Haven over here. That must be what all that is. No, that's chemtrail lines over here. How many directions of the wind did you have flowing over the top of you here today? This is blatant, obvious geoengineering influencing the weather. Hey, fucking up your day for dancer. Look at that big square of crap. They aimed it right in there to smack Auckland. It didn't even give you a proper warning. What a fucking shame. What a bunch of fizzlers. Look at over here in Bastard Strait. Let's get this straight, you bastards. You're gonna staff spray in my fucking sky, this big square ass far shit. Chemtrail, 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 chemtrail. Cam, bam, 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 bam. They love you so you're screwed. Ba boom, boom, ba bam, bam, bam. They love you so you're screwed over here in warm. Ba boom, boom, ba boom, 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 Look at all the layers of microwaves you get here. You get a down wall up top. You must have them bipolar microwaves going on. They must have a station over here. It's been too long and G long. Got a great big long line of straight. I'd love to see a picture of that. Who took a shot at that? Big long front line of non naturally occurring cloud formations off the coast of uh, Melbourne. It's Melbourne. Big square over here, Melbourne. What in a flocking hell is that? Oh, they must want some gems from the brook over here. They must need some freedom and smarten it up with their smart meters. That's right. Look at the bomb here. The obvious, obvious bomb over here near Port Welsh Pool. Look at that. It looks like the staff is sure not that you used to hang three people at once in the 1500s. It became the design for the modern day pretzel. There's a little tidbit for you. Do we learn that they can hang three people at once? Now, if you made a product and it killed a bunch of people, it would one of us, it ain't have his hanging higher than hanging, but somehow if you have a billion dollars in a bank, it seems you can evade justice through legalese. Or pests and lust, it says you're immune from persecution of murdering people when you perform medical experiments. What a shame. Chemtrails here, to me, is a medical experiment. Because this fallout, they're going to see what it does to people. Did they get more gallons? Who did? Who got the fibers? Who got the cough? And who survived? Well, the cold has been on for a very long time. And when they start blurring out pictures on a feed, it's because they're hiding something from you. They don't want you to see. To not see. N-O-T-S-E-E, -E, you're being ruled by Nazis. They don't want you to have a real forecast in the news. Why? They want to catch your cars out on the road to sell those electrics that even the electric plants can't keep up uh, with, the, with the amount of electric in them with what we got now. They like stress the grid, ask you for a power plant because the government needs to power more than you. They'll tell you. No, you will go to bed at 2 in the morning. We're cutting your internet or everything, all your lights because uh, we, mommy says, go to bed. Meanwhile, I got this chem bomb over here with a hellacious different colors of ice crystal refraction. What is in that? Green. Reds. It's a firework deployed. And it could very well be what the color is. It's flashing at the time the satellite snapped a shot. I can see that as a possibility. Uh, in the realm of Occam's razors type thinking of non-full retardation. Right? It doesn't take me long. To say, if you don't open your eyes and realize something is wrong, then you're never going to know what's wrong. You're always going to become a victim and be led toward the end of a cliff and even believe lemmings might do that, which they don't. That's right. You're, you're led to believe all sorts of things. It's not naturally occurring cloud formation off the coast of Sydney. I see some horrendous pictures of the far north today. Okay, so I want to go up and look. 
It was terrible looking up here. It is. Look at all the haze. Now, this is the Great Barrier Reef if you care about it or not. You know, I do. I care very much. And I'm watching chemical deployments, and I know there's acid in the rain because people show me. And with litmus test, it's a piece of paper, you hold it in the rain, what does it say? What color is it? It's not rocket science. Anybody could do it. Even out here in the Coral Sea, it's total, total toxifying your fish supply and the food. And that these people in these places rely on, they rely on that local fish. And it's being poisoned out here in the Solomon Islands. Totally, totally poisoned out. All these chemtrails. It's happening all over the world. There's no place safe from it. They do tests over Antarctica too and over the North Pole. Oh, lots of stuff happen in places where you're not allowed to go. If you ain't allowed to go there, you know, the corporation can. It's the worst part of all. Because corporations are corpos, they're dead things, they got no rules. Something came along in a line and just deployed. You know, exact location. Pop one here and here, pop one here and here, pop one here and here. With the curler, we need an extra. We must have missed one. Oops. It's just horrendous. It may be military operations. They think they're running a, a battle simulation or something. But meanwhile, the computer is directing chemical uh, deployments. That's fireworks. Look at the colors. Purple, reds, greens. They let it off the grand finale. And the grand finale is being paid for by you and I. It's being paid for by Mother Nature. And the, the annihilation of the species and the trees. And they find it unacceptable. To zoom back here, the last full picture... Of all of us together in this world. All of us are here. And it's going to take all of us to fix this. Always remember the answer is we. Be you. Be free. Be oneness with the big 